Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to a brand new week here at Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. Happy Monday. Hard to believe, right? I just think the weather today, too, is a little, everybody's a little sleepy today. Oh, I hope you're bundled up wherever you are. It's cold. It feels like Chicago this morning. It does. Or New I, York probably, City. Actually, I think it's warm. It's uh, colder here than it is in Chicago. I should have asked my mom. I talked to her this morning, but... I don't know, it's, it's this crazy weather. Actually, I'm not gonna complain because at least we're able to wear our boots and our Uggs and you know, as opposed to just once. Uh, if you have Uggs and boots. I mean, this morning I was downtown at the Houston Ballet. Uh, I had an early shoot this morning and I was so cold out there. So. The wind kicks up. I know. Yeah. Well, bundle up folks and buckle up because we've got a great show today. It's chilly outside. It's also gala season. And today we have your gala season survival guide from the prep work before the party begins to how you should behave at the gala, like maybe the best time to approach someone, even how to gracefully exit a conversation. Courtney calls it ghosting. <laughs> Image and brand consultant Natalie Weekly is here with strategies to help you own the social scene. And by the way, you can test your own etiquette knowledge by logging on to clicktovote.com and playing in our little trivia game. And I do think this translates to other things other than the gala. For sure. You know, it's just For a sure. party is a house party or something that you're going to. So don't be, you know, turning away just because you hear that magic word of gala, right? Okay, plus spring break fun. Oh my word for the entire family. It's right around the corner. Corner. We're sharing a rundown of all the fun ha events happening at Levy Park, and we're going to kick off the week with a live performance from a local funk band. If you have to ask, if you have to ask, we will get to them a little bit later. Looking forward to that. Also, folks, you know we love giveaways here at Houston Life. We are announcing the first winner of our Scramble for Boots giveaway. Will it be you? You got to oh. tune in to find out. I know. Good stuff. I'm so happy with my Justin boots that I just got, my new pair for rodeo. They're kind of silver. They're kind of like a gray silver, and they're a little bit higher than normal, and I, I just, I love them. They're a great brand, so hopefully that lucky winner is watching today. Very excited. You're not, not wearing, wearing your them boots today. today. I'm going to wear them later that. on in the week for a special story that we have coming up. But um, So, a fun weekend. I got to tell you, I had one event all weekend, and it was on Friday, so I had the rest of the weekend to just chill because this was so cool. This was I was been on the auction train, like the school tour, going from like campus to campus for all these auctions. But finally, it was for our school. Mardi Gras. Yeah, it was a Bourbon Street theme. And you remember Revelry Goods? They came on the show to talk about like a photo booth backdrop. They yeah. did that backdrop oh, cool. uh, for the open for the entrance there. Oh, awesome. Really amazing balloon installation. That's my friend Monica Guerrera. And um, I mean, there were some amazing costumes. So this was a Bourbon Street theme. You know the silver and gold statues that you see. Yeah. Yeah, and, oh, and they you, they earn money by yeah. That's Brooke. And... Brooke is the silver statue, and she did such a great job. Oh my gosh! One of my other friends, Julie. And so once you know the party started, and everybody's feeling you know this is at the SPJST Lodge, the bingo hall, Where right? They do bingo on Thursdays. And so right after the live auction, you know, starts the party. But this is how we started the party on Friday night. This is the Bumpin' Brass Band, a little second line oh, action. That's so great. They were so good. It's like one of the best ways to start a party. Sounds it was like so fun. awesome. They did such a great job. I feel like I want the Bumpin' Brass Band with me. At all times. At all times. Well, I know you love a parade. I do I love a you parade. you love an entourage. They were so good, though. I mean, it totally got this, the party started. Subtle entrance. With I know. Me, with you in the Nobody band, will right? notice. Well, congratulations. But this was all a fundraiser for the school, right? Yes. Over $100,000 was raised for the school. All right. And uh, all of that goes for really great things. Technology and Riders in Schools program and um, our Urban Harvest, the garden program that we do there at the school. So really great stuff. Very cool. Yeah. Well, you're recovering nicely today. Yeah. You don't look tired at all. No, I had you two days. You look fresh as a daisy. <laughs> we have been on the gala train. You have been majorly. <laughs> that tuxado is getting its work out of it. I was just going to say, that tux needs to be cleaned. You know, the problem is you hug people, and then you get makeup all down the side of oh, your tux. see what I do? What, you never. You don't hug people. I don't. You push them away. <laughs> is that part of the etiquette segment? It is. Oh, never. great oh. to see you. <laughs> so nice to see you. Don't don't get see, any closer. I'm really afraid I'm going to do that to somebody because I'm short. In case anybody didn't know, I'm like them you're going to rub a face full of makeup and all I'm over their suit. And I'm afraid because my cheek will be like right here on somebody, not up here. Well, that's where all my makeup stains yeah. are, Courtney. So now I know who did it. N not me. I don't hug, <laughs> ever. <laughs> She has a hands-off approach to many things. 
<laughs> Literally. Well, this gala was gorgeous. It was so beautiful, and I was so excited to go along with Jerry Martin there, our GM who's on the right side of your screen, and Shannon Murphy, who are, is our general sales Should manager. Should I be concerned this is the second gala that I wasn't invited to? I mean, let's just say we like to hang out a lot. <laughs> gala is our house. You know, we like to drink some wine. I'm, I'm not concerned. But Sorry what's cool, though, is this was inside the Museum of Natural Such Science. Such a great backdrop it is unbelievable i mean the dinner was fantastic look, at that. look how they decked it out so like they transformed it into this whole new world we're dining among dinosaurs my, my all my exes right brandon was making friends right and left i mean look he can have a conversation with anyone mm. look at that they're getting along so well <laughs> so we had a, a lovely time and actually speaking of etiquette there was um one lovely woman on the dance floor I'll tell you about later. The next day we went to rodeo, so we traded in our tuxes and you can see. Um, you wore the cowboy tux. We, we did the cowboy tux, yeah. the hat and the boots and all of that. Um, but we were on the dance floor and there was a great live band at the gala, but there was one guest who was like a little um, huggy, aggressive. Remember I showed you the picture, yeah. the video, like uh, this woman wouldn't leave us alone. I tried to leave the dance floor and she essentially put her little arms online. Are we going to show the video or you want me to reenact? We're not showing happening. the video because I, then you'll know, you know who, who this she is. person is. You want me to reenact what happened behind you? I'm just saying it's... <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, so, like, you guys, you're taking... Use your phone, right? You, use that it's as the phone. It's not my phone. It's a, phone. it's a tablet. And, like, there's oh, other hey. people here and you're dancing and like, to we're leave, taking and a like, picture. Woo! And then Woo! she grabbed my arm and dragged me onto the dance floor. I was like, well, wait, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually not ready to go and do that right now. That's what Fair. happened. And you didn't know her, right? Did not know this woman. How's my acting skills today? That was That was really good. And scene. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Only you should be in an evening gown and twice your age. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that was the reality, though. Like, it was an older lady. I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> it was an older lady, so it was like, wow, aggressive much. Okay. Sorry, okay. That was well, let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. It was a great weekend. We're exhausted, and we made it through the Taco Bell drive-thru twice, oh, by the way. What do you get in the drive-thru? After the these bean galas, we go home, we get? take the tux off, we go straight to Taco Bell every time. Um, I usually just get, like, a regular taco. Yeah, like, like crispy? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, those are good. You? I love the crispy tacos, man. Okay. I love them. <laughs> okay, so a quick update. We are so excited uh, for our friend Kelly. We met during Luzia oh, in Mexico City. Yes. Remember, she was the girl who, who taught us how the Cirque uh, performers do all their own makeup. There she is. She is so unbelievably she's talented. She's been with Cirque for nine years, eight or nine years, for something like that? I think so. She's done a handful of shows, and she's so super cool. She's from Seattle, lives in L.A., but she decided to take a very big step while she was in Houston. Yay! Felipe, her husband husband who is Colombian they met during the show's creation he's one of the musicians in the show check this out folks they got married here in Houston and last the week Discovery Green photos. they went down to Discovery Green it oh. looks like Kelly's parents were in town so congratulations congratulations to Kelly and that is so awesome very happy and very quickly guys this is a killer, killer giveaway. This is the Nest Protect. Yeah. And our friends over at Reliant, they're giving away 1,000 of these today at Rodeo, starting at 3 p.m. for first responders. So all credentialed first responders, if you're out there at Rodeo, look for that giant orange Reliant boot. It's right there between NRG Center and the Astrodome, and, right? the, and or, Wine uh, Garden, and yeah, and yeah. the stadium, and all of that. You it's can't not miss far it. from the Astrodome. Yeah. You can't miss it. But they've got 1,000 of these fantastic Nest Protects oh, they're giving that is away so great. for free. These things, by the way, these are worth 120 bucks each. Yeah, so they just have to show their uh, their card, basically yeah, show, their credentials. Show your ID, and uh, you'll take one of these bad boys Love home. Love that. Awesome. Free giveaway. Great Thanks info. to our friends at Reliant. Absolutely. Okay, guys, still to come, have you ever been to the Wine Garden at the Rodeo? Yes. It's one of our favorite spots. last night. <laughs> I know. Coming up, we're going to take you inside the Wine Garden for a taste and a tour. Well, X Barks, the spot, Paw Patrol Live, the great pirate adventure is coming to Hobby Center March 15th through 17th. 
They need all paws on deck for this pirate adventure, so we are sending our very own Tex to hop on board. Join Tex at the 6 p.m. show on March 15th. That's right, he will be part of the show. And even better, $1 from each ticket purchase will go to Tex's charitable foundation to help animals in need. If you'd like to purchase your ticket and help Tex's cause, go to pawpatrollive.com and enter the code TEX, that's T-E-X, pawpatrollive.com with a promo code TEX. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back. There's a live look from our Channel 2 Tower Cam. A little gloomy outside, a little chilly, but folks, warm weather is on the way. Mm. Hang in there. Okay, so this time of year, it's rodeo time. When you head out to NRG Park, of course, a lot of folks, they will naturally just reach for a beer, which is great. But there's also another beverage that's becoming increasingly popular out at the rodeo wine. Absolutely, especially with the World Champion Wine Garden. More than 70 different wines are available by the glass. Or the or bottle. The bottle. <laughs> <laughs> we know from experience. And this is not only about Texas wines, and also it opens daily at 4 p.m. Okay, guys, one of my favorite places of all time rodeo stuff to do the wine garden and the woman of the hour. Oh, my. Tamara, oh my. Yes, she's going to walk us through the tasting. And there are, what, over 50 different bottles of wine here? Oh, yes. And we they're all winners. There isn't a bottle here in the wine garden that is not a winner. So this really starts back in our competition in November each year. And we had 3,156 wines come in from 18 different countries. A lot of people think the wine garden is just about Texas wine. Well, we do dearly love our Texas wine. It's a little bit bigger than that. Right. And this competition's gotten bigger and bigger every year. So once you win in our competition, then you have, you're eligible to come here. We have a selection committee that then decides if you have enough volume, because we sell thousands and thousands and thousands of bottles of wine here. So in three weeks, you guys sell about 30,000 bottles of champagne and different wines. Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. You know what, Tamara, I'm sorry, but... You're getting a little parched? I'm a little thirsty. Well, here, let me help you out with our grand champion from South Africa and our first ever champagne with a champagne uh, style of making, and it is pink with the Pinot Noir grape. And I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be drinking this all summer long. Listen, I have to tell you, I'm a huge fan of this label. I love Grand Beck. Why did this win Grand Champion? Well, so you go through a series of different judging panels, mm -hmm. uh, and this got all the way up to our super panel, and then they picked it out of all the wines that got there, they picked it to be the grand champion. So it's blind tasting, it's actually double blind. So as a judge, what happens when I get to taste the wine, the person who's handed me that wine chase doesn't even know what they're giving me. So think about it, this is rodeo, this is pink, this is sparkling wine. And it's a really good price point. I gotta tell you, it's giving me life right now. Yeah. Okay, so you're, test you're tasting the champagnes, the sparkling wines, the reds, the whites. What else do you have for me? Dessert wine. We actually have a dessert wine here that I'm really jazzed about. It won top dessert wine. It's a Vincento from Italy, okay. which means it's, it's all kinds of special, and it's in a very small uh, bottle and you only taste a little bit after a meal. So I know there will be some times when I have my something on a stick that I'm gonna have to have this very special wine. Fried because Oreo. Fried something. Oreos, Sausage, Santa, whatever, it doesn't something. matter. Yeah. Okay, this one's also very special as well. Yeah, so our, every year we pick a top region. This one's really yummy. This is from Rioja, which is in the northern part of Spain, and it's a blend. So it's got Tempranillo, Grenache, a couple of native grapes, and this one really is lovely, easy drinking. Of course, I have to say here in Texas, we're drinking a lot of growing and drinking a lot of Tempranillo as well. And love that about my Texas grapes. But this one is a really nice price point as well. And I think it really goes well with our food. It's so Fried good. Oreos aside. Or, yeah, barbecue, this is it. I yes. mean, this is what we want to do. So we come here to the wine garden right outside, the in between the Astrodome and the stadium. We can come drink our bottle, and we are also helping the kids, right? And you have live music. We have two different stages of live music that you don't have to pay for. 
And you could bring your beer into my wine garden. It's okay, okay. but I that. expect to be harassed. But you know, we love to we love to have people come in. Um, that's really what the rodeo is all about: is hospitableness and being engaged in the customers coming. So we have a live band over here. Oftentimes, that band ends up in the hideout or in the oh, stadium, yeah. and then we have an acoustical stage back over this direction. And so people really get that classic Texas experience of sitting out underneath the light bulb and drinking wine. Tamara, thank you so much. Cheers to you and the wine garden thank and you. your committee. Are there any Cheers. room on that committee? Always. Cheers. Cheers. Just waiting for that invite, you know? I think that's a really good committee to be on. As we said, more than 30,000 bottles of wine are sold. What do they do with those bottles? They recycle them. Very cool stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. Huge recycle bin beyond that uh, wine garden. So for more information on the Champion Wine Garden at the Rodeo, remember it opens at 4 p.m. daily, visit HoustonLife.tv. And it gets better and better as the sun goes down and those lights come up, mm -hmm. folks. The music starts. Okay, so everything is negotiable, right? But when was the last time you tried to negotiate? Our next guest says that could be your ticket to saving, get this, hundreds of dollars every single month. The Shakiba Report is next. Extra cash in our pockets. Amen to that. Private wealth advisor with Ameriprise Financial, Trevor Shakiba, joins us now with savings tips to help us uncover $1,000 a month. Wait, Trevor, I mean, how is that possible? That's a lot of money. I think it's doable, and you're right. That's why I'm so excited about this, uh, this segment is because 1000 a month is real money, yeah. and it can really catapult you forward and paying off debt or even education planning or retirement planning. So I, I think I have some great tips here on how you can start to look for savings that you may not even realize are there. And we said everything is negotiable. Uh, is that really, really true? And what do you mean by that? I mean, you're talking about not only things you buy, but monthly bills people are already paying? Yeah, so that's my first tip. It, to start there is, is that everything is negotiable, literally everything. And, and, and what I recommend to my clients when we're looking at budgeting and savings is that all bills and expenses, start there, have confidence. Sometimes all you gotta do is ask and remember that you are the consumer. So they need you, it's not the other way around. And if you have that in mind on our next few points here, it's gonna make a lot of sense. Okay, so let me just make sure I'm, I'm getting this information correctly. So on, on our monthly bills, like we're talking like our electricity and things that we're not, call them and, and try to negotiate a better rate? Yeah, absolutely. Or shop around. Exactly, make them compete for your business. Uh, certainly, whether it's cell phone bills, Christine and I just did this. Cable. Cable's a big one. I mean, you can just call and threaten to cancel and they'll start negotiating All of a sudden you. they have specials. Yeah, and so you do that a few times and then we're talking about two, $300 a month and it adds up pretty quick. Sure does. What about things like uh, high interest credit card debt? Because that's something that people can be buried under paying 15, 16% every month. You say just call the credit card company and ask them to lower your rate? Well, I think you can start there, but look, high interest debt is the biggest impediment to building wealth. Always start there. The average American has approximately 5,000 in credit card debt, and it's at 14.9% on average. You can see how that's a big problem. Yeah. Look, you can consolidate. We all get those things in the mail. You can consolidate. My recommendation is anything that's over 10% uh, card-wise, you should look to consolidate. And then, yeah, you can work with them there. Um, one idea is you get a tax refund, potentially use a portion of that or all of that when you move the card, and you might be able to get that rate lower. So, again, that will add up. I think I put 100 a month here. It's probably a lot more than that, actually. Uh, but you got to sit down and do the research. That's right. the thing that people have to understand to get started. Your next point is, again, making people compete for your business. Right. I'm always so surprised that people just accept the first option. You know, maybe because it's easy, but what I put here, four things, cell phone, we talked about that one, cable, electricity. One of my favorites oh. is the unused gym membership. Oh, yes. that adds up. 50 month a month, I mean, month. 600 a year. Yeah, sure. um, so, and again, that's negotiable too. Don't forget about that. Uh, going back to my first point, I put 200 a month here, and I think that's pretty pretty easily done. You know what's really interesting, too? Sometimes you sign up for these apps or maybe something that you're using on your phone, and it ends up being, maybe it's $19 a month, 
and you just forgot, forgot about, about it. it. You look back and think, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for two years, the money I could have saved. So look at that kind of stuff, what your cards are linked to as well, right? Yeah. Not only that, but another one where they get you is they start off at a certain amount and then all of a sudden and they, they bump up. it up after three months and you still, you didn't really realize it. Yeah, and you're not paying attention. Exactly. Let's talk about the mortgage because this is an area you say a lot of folks can save. If you've just bought a new home and you didn't put 20% down, a lot of people are stuck with PMI or private mortgage insurance. Yeah. How do they get rid of that? So private mortgage insurance, we should probably explain that. If you don't put enough down, they're going to require you to, to carry this because there's some risk involved when you have a mortgage. Um, on the, uh, let's say a $300,000 house, it's probably going to be about 150 a month. So you can do one of two things here. You can put more money down if, if you have that ability, or if your house is appreciated, it might be time to look at refinancing. That is unneeded. PMI is unneeded if you have enough equity. So definitely keep track of that. And the second thing is, is if you're about to buy a house, again, make them compete. Don't just go with this, the, the first offer you get as far as financing. Look at the closing costs and then also look at the interest rate because those small percentage points add up. And these are all great tips, but you have to be in the right frame of mind. You can't have 30 seconds or like five minutes to do all this research. You got to really dedicate the time, right? Yeah, you've got to carve out some time and you got to be ready to go to battle almost, right? And get on the phone and you're going to be on the waiting list. And so a cup of coffee or maybe you may even need a glass of wine. So, <laughs> uh oh. Or during and after. Because speaking of wine though and coffee, these are also hidden things. Yeah that people, when they start adding them up, seven bucks for a coffee, a round of drinks for your friends, you say, stop paying for stupid stuff like that. Yeah, you know, we could have done the entire segment just on this category. I put 450 a month here. The average American spends 3,000, really more per year on eating out. And so here's a couple ideas. Pack a lunch for work every day, except for Friday, right? Um, share meals with your spouse. Christine and I do this just because we really don't want to eat that much anyways. And then the big one, Derek, you mentioned, don't be buying drinks for everybody, you know, every time you go out. That can add up so quick, and uh, it's probably way more than 450 a month if you really just pay attention here. Absolutely, yeah. those drinks add up. And the last tip is the warranty. When you buy a new product, like a dishwasher or something, you say don't go for the extended warranty. Yeah, look, I put warranties are worthless. It may not be exactly that. Also, timeshares, um, but if it's a big ticket item, like a car, you probably need to, to strongly consider a warranty. But if you're buying a toaster, the warranty does not make sense when you run the numbers mm -hmm. because the warranty is 50% or even as much as the product itself. I'm just saying, pay attention. If it's a smaller item, it may not make sense. I put 100 a month, but if you add all those numbers together, that's approximately 1,000 a month, and that makes a huge difference. Remember, it's little wins, little wins that start to really accumulate over time that builds wealth. All right, skip the warranty. Trevor, thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you. And reminder that if you would like more info on financial planning or a complimentary consultation with Trevor and the Shakiba Group, you can call 281-724-9917 or visit them online at theshakibagroup.com. And still to come, ladies, how you can get a mommy makeover without the scars, cost, or downtime of surgery. We're sharing the beauty secret in just a few minutes. But after the break, one of our viewers is going home with a brand new pair of boots. Will it be you? You can find out right after this. With spring break around the corner, you might be running out of time to get that bikini body ready, or maybe the gym just isn't giving you the results you were looking for. But there is a new procedure that promises surgical results, but without the surgery. Board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Forrest Roth with West Ab Plastic Surgery is here to explain how you can improve your look without the scars, cost, or downtime of surgery. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. I think any mom who has had a baby can say, it doesn't matter how many crunches I do or what I do in the gym, it's that part of kind of flabby skin is part of having a baby, right? And how That's do we get rid of it? So true. So now there's a solution that you can do instead of surgery. So for all those moms that said, mm, maybe I'd like to have my body back, but I don't want to go through surgery, now there's a solution. And okay. you call it the mommy makeover, but without surgery, describe to us exactly what it is you're doing here. Okay, so we address the body parts that concern you. So face, neck, tummy, arms, legs, and we do it in the clinic while you're awake. No cutting, no scars, minimal downtime. How does it work? So it's done through radio frequency. Okay. So this is a new technology that allows us to heat up the skin and melt the fat right there in the clinic while you're awake. 
Okay, and we're seeing a bit of an animation right now, so you can just maybe describe to us how this all works. What is so, that we're saying? So this is called Morpheus, and this is performed with the procedure in the areas that have crepey skin. So if you have crepey skin on your face or neck, on around your belly button, mm -hmm. or even on your knees, we go over these areas with this Morpheus device, and it tightens the skin right in front of our face. So it, all, it tightens and then also helps sort of that layer of fat underneath as well? That's right, so in patients that have a little more fat, we can tailor the procedure to them and liposuction at the same time. That is so fascinating. So as Courtney was mentioning then, after childbirth, a lot of women, you know, have their bodies change. You're saying that this is sort of like a combo of like a breast lift and dealing with some ab abdominal issues as well? So most of the breast procedures we'll still do in the operating room, but this has almost replaced the facial surgical procedures that we used to do. We can get a facelift-like result uh -huh. and neck lift-like result in the clinic without going to the hospital. So when we're looking at some of these before and after, obviously we started with the tummy, we're looking at the neck. These are dramatic results. How long are we talking as far as like the procedure and then when we're seeing the results? So that's the best part. The procedure only takes about an hour for the face and neck. Okay. Super quick. Yeah. Maybe more like two hours for the abdomen and love handles. Okay. And then you see the results gradually thereafter. It takes about four weeks for the swelling to go away and eight weeks to really start appreciating your result. It seems like the excess fat and the uh, like the saggy skin areas, that seems to be a common thing that people complain about. So if someone goes through one of your procedures, even without the surgery though, what kind of long-term results would they expect to achieve? Great question. So these are permanent results, just as permanent as surgery. Um, as long as you don't have big weight fluctuations, you will not regain the fat. It does not go somewhere else. It's gone. And this is also great for somebody who's gone through some dramatic weight loss as well, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, we do have to examine every right. patient and make sure they're a candidate. There are exceptions to everything. But honestly, most of the patients we see in our clinic are wonderful candidates. And you said this technology uses heat. So is there any kind of numbing or anything associated with this? Any kind of like... Um I don't know. Or discomfort yeah. that someone would feel. Sure, sure. So the patient's awake, but you're right. We numb over and under the skin okay. in the areas we're going to treat. And then the patient and myself, we just chit-chat the whole time and knock it out. I love it. See, it also seems that without surgery, I mean, anytime you go in for a surgery, right, you're opening up your body to infection and all other you know, Absolutely. sorts of things, right? So that also provides a benefit to a patient who's not going to have to worry about any of that. It sure does. There's a lot of patients that aren't healthy or safe to go to the operating room. And this is all done with little five millimeter needle holes. So there are no huge incisions. There's less risk of infection and such. Okay, well, we do want to mention a uh, Houston Life special that you have for our viewers today. And that is for the first 100 callers. And it's 20% off this procedure, is that right? Correct. All you need to do is call 713-559-9300 or you can log on to westabplasticsurgery.com. Dr. Roth, thanks so much. Thank you so much. And you know, I was just thinking too, like people take time off work to schedule a surgery. Right. So like if they could come in and see you and not take time off work, not worry about or like the missing. the downtime after. Exactly. You're still continuing Sorry, my your mind life. is I know, my mind right? is wandering. Mm -hmm. Dr. Roth, great to see you. Thank you so thanks much. Thanks for coming by. Okay, still ahead on Houston Life, avoiding gala season gaffes. If you want to make a good impression at your next event, we've got you covered. Tips to help you navigate gala season like a pro when we come back. Termites are a serious concern to your largest investment. They can do more damage than fires, tornadoes, or hurricanes. Our termite treatment and detection program is all about the technician and the products we use. Depend on ABC Home and Commercial Services to protect your home from termites. When you apply for Social Security Disability Benefits, you have to fill out a lot of paperwork. You may get frustrated and need somebody to help you. I'm Victor McCreese, a Texas Board Certified Attorney. If you need to apply for disability benefits or appeal a denial, my law firm is here to help you get started, either in person or over the phone. You have a little Espanol. Call Victor McCreese, toll free, 1-866-526-9966. Hey, you, the one with the designer dog collar. Wondering how I upgraded to this sleep pad? A 1,200 square foot bathroom and my very own spa. All I had to do was get my human 
the look. With Wells Fargo's 3% down payment on a fixed rate loan and a simpler online application, getting into my dream home was easier than ever. Get your human to visit wellsfargo.com slash woof. What would she do without me? Tired of the winter blues? Need a break from your daily grind? Ready to press pause and make time for you? Escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and let the calming surf, soft sand, and warm sun do the work. With amazing deals all along the coast, it's the perfect time for a seaside getaway. So make time for you. Visit Myrtle Beach, where happiness comes in waves. ABC covers more insects than anyone in Houston. That covers you from property line to property line. Our treatment is environmentally friendly, eliminating insects and protecting your home and your family. Depend on ABC Home and Commercial Services for your pest needs. From when to approach someone at a party to exchanging contact info, how much do you know about navigating the social scene? Not much. I'm feeling very short right now. Image and brand consultant Natalie Weekly is joining us to put our knowledge to the test. And folks, don't I can't forget, wait. you can play along with us at clicktovote.com. Natalie, welcome back to the show. Thank you guys for having me. We can't wait for it. this. I hope we don't fail miserably. I think, I think you'll be... I think you'll make it. Okay. But let's it'll go be good. For it. It'll be good so reminders. You're gonna quiz us. You're going to ask us questions yes. and then we have to ring in. It's going to be great. Okay. Okay, let's okay you guys started. ready? Yes. Okay, so parties can sometimes make people nervous, whether you're introvert, extrovert, extrovert. What's the best way to prep for great conversation? You can read the headlines. You can have two or three back pocket questions at the ready. You can do a mental review of names and faces of those who might be there, or you can wear a controversial graphic tee. Oh. Oh, the graphic tee. <laughs> I would say review spice. the headlines to spice it up, Courtney, wear the graphic tee. Well, I mean, like, what party am I going to? Because, like, so sometimes true. you don't want to be reading the headlines at something that it's just inappropriate to talk about at that party. You're absolutely right. You do need to consider where you're going. I would say those top three are all great. If you want to review the headlines, it gives you some good talking points. Hey, did you know that they successfully launched a SpaceX rocket this weekend? Isn't that cool? You could talk about that. But the, one of the things that helps the most is having two or three back pocket questions. And that is maybe where are you from originally, since like four people are from Houston originally. Right. And so that can spark conversation. Uh, also, is there a good book that you've read recently? Or how did you get involved in this cause or hear about this event or whatever it is? Okay, that's good advice. Yeah. Or just be an interesting person, right? If you take yes. selfies all day, you might not have much to talk about. Maybe Probably not. <laughs> Maybe no. <laughs> okay, so you have walked into the party. When is the best time to approach someone at a party? When they walk in the door, when they're in line to get a drink, after they visited the food and drink station, or I'm an introvert, I don't talk to people. In line for a drink? If it's Courtney, think? don't approach her. <laughs> That wasn't a joke. It's totally true. <laughs> I don't know, in line at the no. bar? In we, line at the bar. It's awkward okay, if they have we're all in waiting there, there anyway. The, right. Yeah. Okay, so we were talking about this over the weekend as well. There are a couple things. So right when you walk into an event, think about you're trying to scope out the scene. You're trying to figure out what's going on. You're trying to find here. the bar. You're trying to find the bar. <laughs> you're trying to find the welcome desk. You're trying to find whatever it is. So if you want to approach someone, then just say, hey, we're glad you're here. Here's where you're going to sign in. Here's the refreshment table. So that... Like, we're not going to have a great, meaningful conversation. We're going right to get you on you your way. Door. Yes. And okay. you're going to be thinking, why? Well, I, I don't want to be stuck with you yet because I don't even know who's here yet. So, yes, when they're in line is good, but it's still a little bit of a kind of stuck situation. And it's going to end as soon as they get their drink, possibly. So the best time is after they've already visited the refreshment station, whether it's drinks or food or whatever. So that they are ready. It's like after you walk into a cafeteria in high school or middle school and you're like, who do I talk to? That's right. a great time to then talk to somebody because that's when they're most feeling like, I really want to talk to somebody right now. Oh, okay. interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So introductions. Which of these elements of an introduction makes starting a conversation as smooth as possible? Names. How you know each other. A tidbit about the person. Their political views. Or almost all of them. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I would or say no. not the political view. I mean, how you know the person, I would think, would be, you know, because that's, if you're going to a wedding and you don't know a lot of people, are you, you right. know, do you know the bride, do you know the groom? Like, what do you, you know? Absolutely. That is a fantastic piece to include. I would say almost all of the above. 
of course you want to include names. So if I, and how you know each other. So if I'm introducing Derek, this is my friend Courtney. We know each other from TV. We used to work <laughs> in the Galleria together. We oh. used to work in the Galleria together, <laughs> it's so true. And um, I know you guys are both come from distant lands to come here. In Houston, I'm sure you can compare notes on how Houston is wildly different from Chicago and LA. And then that gives you guys, so I've told you how I know you and how, so you can start talking there. And I've also given you a tidbit about the other person so right. you can start the conversation. Because the worst is where you're like, hey, Derek, Courtney, Derek, Cor Courtney, yeah. Derek. And then you're like, uh, uh, hi, what do I yeah. do? Great. And or, then you Or even got worse than that is when people don't introduce other people. I see it oh, all the time socially. It happens all the time. People walk up and yes. like, I'm like, am I invisible? And eventually I put my hand out and I say, yes. hi, I'm Derek. Yeah. Sorry your rude friend <laughs> didn't introduce you, but I'll do that job. Which also right. means that it's one of my pet peeves. Well, means you're also thinking about that instead of listening to whatever's happening because you're like, well, I want this person to feel oriented. I want to feel oriented because again, that's where good connection happens when we all know exactly. what's going Inclusion. on and how, why we're there. Yes, yes. exactly. It feels, feels great. Okay, so conversation. What's the best way to step up your conversation game? Obviously, if you're at a social event, there's a lot of talking. So one, talk the entire time. Who's oh. more interesting oh, than me? Yes. Ask, how are you? or keep things straightforward, just ask yes or no questions, or go big, switch this weather is crazy, huh, to what's the most extreme weather you've been in. Oh, I like that, the last one. Yeah, going big is the best, because we all have, man, can you believe how cold it is? And yeah, it is really cold, or can you believe how crazy this weather is? Yes, it is crazy, it's literally bipolar. And you could talk about that, or you can say, what's the most extreme weather you've been in? Well, then you're also getting to know that person. Exactly. So you're you're putting a little bit of investment into it, even yes. though, I mean, it's just nice. It's uh, Sometimes people don't get asked questions, you right. know? They're, or that worst feeling is like when somebody's on their phone and talking to you, but they're not listening. Right. So, you know, when you ask those questions, that other person Kinda feels important. for a second, yes. It makes the conversation flow so much more Or just make up a, a really exciting story. Or you could also do that if you're an impromptu kind of person. Okay, so we've greeted, we've talked. Now we're gonna go sit down at the table, especially if you're at a big gala or something like that, especially if it's a round table. So what side of the, we're gonna do one quick etiquette question. What side of the place setting does your bread go? Does it go on the left or does it go on the right? Doesn't it go top right? Am I totally wrong? <laughs> is it top left? Yeah, top right is your, um, your water glass, right? And your three wine glasses. Yeah, I think it's left. It is left. Is it yeah. left? Here's the best trick to remember. Go like this. Oh, it's a B for bread. Exactly. Yeah. Bread, drink. B Mind for blown. bread. Mind bread, blown. Bread, drink. Yep. You will never forget again, and you will never be the guy who steals someone else's water glass and then have to have the awkward conversation. Right. <laughs> Unless oh, that's, that's your way tip. of starting I'll be at the table doing Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can do it underneath the table, so no one has to know what's happening. <laughs> Okay, so you've had a great conversation, you've had dinner, and now you're gonna leave the conversation. So what's the best way to leave a conversation? Because sometimes- Don't ask Corey. You need to leave a conversation. <laughs> One, you probably wanna talk to other people here. Or I wanna talk with a few others while I'm here, I've enjoyed talking to you. Or I don't wanna take up all your time. Or does ghosting work for one-on-one -on -one conversations? Courtney would be like, hey, Natalie. Uh, oh, is that you? <laughs> Not true, <laughs> not true. I do so see an exit. I do ghost, but I do it <laughs> when it makes sense, but I don't want to take up your time, all of your time. Is I've, I've said that before. I yes. know you want to, you know, right. mingle with others. So your absolute best is to say, I've enjoyed talking with you. I want to make sure that I have a chance to talk with some other people. Or I want to make, oh, I just saw Derek. I haven't had a chance to talk with him yet. I'm gonna go uh, say hello. It was an interesting conversation, but it wasn't that interesting. <laughs> well, Gotta go. So we talked about that, that some people felt that it was a bit more direct, that it's like, yeah. I'm done talking to you. But honesty is always good. But you, if you're saying, I don't wanna take up all your time, or I know you wanna talk to somebody else here, you can say, actually, I really don't know anyone else here. I'm so glad to be to let this conversation keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're like, and you're like, stuck. No, no, I yeah. really am done with this conversation. Okay. So it's so much better if you can frame it as what you want to do versus what you, they want to do. Okay, it's Natalie Weekly, way. we gotta leave it there. Okay. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me, okay, I appreciate bye. it. Wow. Remember this guy? Channel 2 Investigates exposed him for doing private car repairs in a taxpayer-funded EMS garage. We have no idea how the information got to Channel 2. Our investigation has got their attention and law enforcement. Tonight at 10.
Don't let the insurance companies screw you over. Car wrecks, truck accidents, DWI. We've been proudly serving the Houston area for over 45 years. If you've been seriously injured in an accident, call the lawyer you can trust. Call attorney Steve Lee right now. We decided to go with Bath Fitter after doing a lot of research. Yeah, we loved how they could install a new tub right over the old one without tearing our bathroom apart. Yeah, what we didn't expect was to be blown away by the quality. And that's what happened. They showed up in the morning, and by the end of the day, we had this absolutely beautiful new bathtub. It was better than we could have even imagined. And it's guaranteed for life. I actually love our bathroom now. <laughs> Book your free in-home consultation today. Call or visit bathfitter.com. Megan, come in here, please. Yes, what's going on? We saw the video that you made at Kelly's house. What? We were dancing. It was fun. Kelly's family has cable internet. The video was in SD. Those upload speeds, it's it's not who you are. The file was huge. It was taking forever. That is not the internet that we raised you with. Don't get mixed up with cable internet. Switch to AT&T Fiber and get faster upload speeds of up to 300 megabits per second for $40 a month. Limited availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-800-CALL-ATT. If you've been seriously injured in an accident, call the lawyer you can trust. Call attorney Steve Lee right now, and we will not let the insurance companies screw you over. You never need an appointment. We can help you right now. Before you do anything else, call attorney Steve Lee right now. A mystery meat allergy is spreading. You eat red meat, and you break out in hives. What you need to know to prevent it. Plus, is your power strip a fire hazard? The items never to plug into one, and how to tell if you've overloaded it. Tuesday morning on Channel 2. Levy Park is a six-acre park located in the heart of the Upper Kirby District. If you haven't been yet, what are you waiting for? Spring break is a great time to check it out. From free kids activities to even a St. Patrick's Day festival, there's plenty to see and do at this amazing park. Including live music. One local band is getting ready for a big performance at Levy Park on Saturday. You'll meet them in just a moment. But first, here with more about what's happening at Levy Park, please welcome... Park Director Stephanie Cusis. Welcome to the show, Stephanie. Hi, thank you so much for having me. And it really is a gem in the city. It that, is. And it shocks me that so many people haven't been yet, but you guys are just right off the 59 freeway, right? We are. We're very close to that, right uh, between 59 and Richmond. Richmond. And then east side is the cross street, so very close to Kirby. We're right there. There is always something going on daily at that park, but what I love is spring break is right around the corner, and you guys have a calendar chock full of stuff for the entire family. We do. We're so excited. We're ramping up all of our normal activities. So during that week when the kiddos are out of school, we're going to have daily story time with a craft. We're going to have children. And once again, here's if you have to ask with their song, feel it. Have a great day. We'll see you back tomorrow. Far too long, but you just got through making a fool of tongues with chill centric lies. Retrieve 